In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on January 14, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Sacramento Kings vs. Milwaukee Bucks On Sunday night, the NBA is set to showcase a high-profile non-conference matchup featuring the Sacramento Kings taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks, hosting the second night of a back-to-back, face the Golden State Warriors on Saturday night. The Kings, coming off a decisive 112-93 loss to the 76ers as half-point underdogs, aim to rebound. Meanwhile, Milwaukee secured a convincing 135-102 victory over the Celtics as two-and-a-half-point home underdogs. Notably, this game marks the first of two matchups between these teams this season. The Sacramento Kings have demonstrated resilience by winning six of their last nine games. Despite their recent 112-93 defeat to the 76ers, they aim to bounce back. In that game, Dar and Fox led with 21 points, accompanied by Keegan Murray's 15 points and 8 rebounds, along with DeMantis Sabanis contributing 14 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists. The Kings struggled offensively, shooting just 33% from the field and 8 of 38 from beyond the arc. Defensively, they faced challenges against Tobias Harris, who scored 37 points for the 76ers. The Kings, at full strength for this matchup, will face the Suns after this game. Conversely, the Milwaukee Milwaukee Bucks have faced challenges recently, losing four of their last six games. Seeking momentum, they secured a convincing 135-102 win against the Celtics. Giannis Antetokounmpo led with 24 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists, while Damian Lillard added 21 points and Bobby Portis contributed 28 points and 12 rebounds off the bench. Despite a dominant performance, K.A. Tris Middleton struggled, scoring only 5 points. The Kings may face a shorthanded situation with Kevin Werder listed as questionable, whereas the Bucks are fully healthy. In the upcoming matchup, the Kings present a great opportunity to exploit the Bucks' potential weaknesses. Milwaukee, playing on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, may not perform at their best, especially considering players with lingering injuries might opt to sit out. Sacramento can capitalize on Milwaukee's weakened defense, with Aaron Fox's elite penetration skills and a size advantage inside with players like Sabanis and Yavail Magee. This game offers a favorable buy-low, sell-high moment, considering the Kings' recent loss to the 76ers and the Bucks' win against the Celtics. While the Milwaukee Bucks are undoubtedly a formidable team, their recent defensive struggles and the fatigue of a back-to-back -back present potential vulnerabilities. The Sacramento Kings, a young and athletic team, could exploit tired legs and trouble the Bucks' defense. The schedule favors the Kings in this matchup. Considering these factors, it might be wise to fade both trends and anticipate a competitive showing from the Kings. Thus, the Sacramento Kings to cover the spread as under dogs is our full game side pick. The recent performance of the Sacramento Kings has been disappointing, particularly in their last game, where they suffered a 19-point loss to the Philadelphia 76ers, who were without their star player Joel Embiid. Such performances are disheartening for a team aspiring to be among the elite in the Western Conference. Scoring only 93 points on 33% shooting from the field and 21% from beyond the arc marked one of their worst offensive displays this season. Expectations are high for an offensive improvement in the upcoming game against the high pace Milwaukee Bucks, although Kevin Huerter's availability remains uncertain due to an ankle injury. In contrast to their previous matchups, where the Kings face teams playing their second game in two days, the Bucks find themselves on the second night of a back-to-back -back this time. Despite defeating the Warriors 129-118 to the previous night, potential fatigue might become an issue in a fast-paced game. Milwaukee has a strong head-to-head -head record against the Kings, winning 14 straight meetings, with a 7-3 against the spread record in the 
10 most recent encounters. The Buck starters, having had substantial rest in the last game, are expected to perform well at home. Sacramento needs to recover from an early deficit against the Sixers and regain offensive efficiency. Although Savinus may face challenges, the Bucks' defense is not their strong suit. Considering the historical trend, the over has been a profitable bet in meetings between the Kings and the Bucks. The last 10 games have consistently surpassed the projected total, averaging 252 points per game. This trend also holds for the last five games at Pfizer Forum, where the Bucks have been 14-8 on the over-under in home games this season. With these factors in mind, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Minnesota Timberwolves The Los Angeles Clippers are riding a three-game winning streak. The Minnesota Timberwolves look for a win after splitting their last 10 games. The Los Angeles Clippers beat the Suns, Raptors, and Grizzlies during this streak. The Minnesota Timberwolves beat the Magic and Trail Blazers this week while losing to the Celtics. The Los Angeles Clippers have been showcasing remarkable performance, securing victories in eight of their last nine games. Eager to extend their three-game winning streak, they capitalized on a 128-119 road victory over the Grizzlies on Friday. Paul George, displaying impeccable shooting skills, scored 37 points with seven successful three-pointers. Kawhi Leonard contributed 22 points, and James Harden added 11 points along with nine assists. The team collectively achieved a 55% field goal rate and connected on 15 of 31 three-point attempts. The Clippers dominated the game with a 42-point explosion in the second quarter and further solidified their lead in the third quarter, stretching it to 23 points. Conversely, the Minnesota Timberwolves have been in decent form, securing three wins in their last five games. In their recent matchup against the Trail Blazers, they secured a convincing 116-93 victory. Ruddy Gobert led the team with 24 points and 17 rebounds, while Carl Anthony Towns and Naz Reed contributed significantly Significantly, the Timberwolves exhibited a dominant performance, shooting 55% from the field and 11 of 31 from beyond the arc. Notably, they established a commanding lead with a 36-15 first quarter performance and maintained their dominance, leading to an early rest for their starters. There is a potential setback for the Timberwolves, with Anthony Edwards listed as questionable due to a left knee contusion. This could pose a challenge against the Clippers, who have been the most formidable team in the league recently. Nevertheless, the game promises excitement as the Clippers are on a roll and the Timberwolves boast an impressive home record. Analyzing the matchup, it is noteworthy that the Clippers might face difficulties in sustaining their hot shooting streak against the Timberwolves' robust defense. The Timberwolves rank first in opponent effective field goal percentage, fourth in opponent rim percentage, second in opponent mid-range percentage, and sixth in opponent three-point percentage. With strong rim protection and perimeter defense, Minnesota aims to limit the Clippers' scoring, especially in the paint and from long range. Anticipating an exciting showdown, the spotlight is expected to be on Anthony Edwards, leading the Timberwolves in their pursuit of a 16th home victory in 18 games. Despite their impressive home record, the Timberwolves face uncertainties, including the shift in the betting line, possibly influenced by Edwards' knee condition and recent performance challenges. So the Minnesota Timberwolves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. As the Clippers and Timberwolves prepare to face off at the Target Center, it marks the first of four meetings this season. The Clippers have emerged as one of the hottest teams in the NBA over the past two months, with only two games separating them from the top-seeded Timberwolves in the Western Conference. The Timberwolves, however, hold the edge in the last five meetings, winning four and covering the spread four times. While the Timberwolves' lead in the conference has slightly diminished, being tied with the Oklahoma City Thunder with a 27-11 record, they face pressure with both Oklahoma Oklahoma City and the Clippers surging. Home form has been crucial for the Timberwolves, having lost only twice in 17 games at the Target Center. However, uncertainties loom with Anthony Edwards' potential absence due to a left knee contusion, impacting the team's offensive firepower. In the underdog role this season, the Timberwolves have a 4-6 record, and facing the high-scoring Clippers, who are currently the team to beat in the NBA, presents a formidable challenge. The Clippers, boasting a 9-3 record in their last 12 road games and a dominant overall performance, are set for a competitive matchup against the Timberwolves. With the Clippers showcasing exceptional shooting in their recent win against the Memphis Grizzlies, led by Paul George's season-high 37 points and Kawhi Leonard's 22 points, the team remains on fire. James Harden, while taking a back seat as a scorer, has excelled as a playmaker, averaging 10.3 assists over the past three weeks. The anticipated clash between these two formidable teams is likely to be high scoring, making over the projected total as our full game total pick.
Phoenix Suns vs. Portland Trail Blazers The upcoming clash between the Suns and the Trail Blazers on Sunday, January 14th marks a significant Western Conference matchup. Currently, the Phoenix Suns boast a 20-18 overall record for the season, placing them in 8th position in the competitive Western Conference. On the other hand, the Portland Trail Blazers, with a matching 20-18 overall record, find themselves second to last in the conference standings. As the Suns have secured victories in six of their last nine games, they enter this game with a notable momentum. In recent times, the Phoenix Suns have demonstrated commendable form, emerging victorious in six out of their last nine games overall. Eager to maintain their winning streak, the Suns showcase their prowess in a commanding 127-109 road triumph over the Lakers on Thursday. Notably, Bradley Beal's stellar performance, sinking eight three-pointers and contributing 37 points points on 14 of 21 shooting, played a pivotal role in the Suns' success. The dynamic duo of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant also made substantial contributions, combining for 49 points. The Suns displayed impressive offensive efficiency, shooting 49% from the field and 14 of 39 from beyond the arc. With a dominant first quarter and a prolific third quarter, they established an early double-digit lead, paving the way for a convincing victory. Following this matchup, the Suns are set to face the Kings. Contrastingly, the Portland Trail Blazers are currently grappling with a challenging period, having suffered defeats in six of their last seven games. Eager to break free from a three-game skit, they encountered a setback in a 116-93 road loss to the Timberwolves on Friday. Jabari Walker emerged as the leading scorer with 17 points points, complemented by 13 rebounds and 3 assists off the bench. The team's struggles were evident, shooting only 39% from the field and 10 of 28 from beyond the arc. The Trail Blazers faced a significant deficit by the end of the first quarter, trailing 36-15. Notably, Anthony Simons and Scoot Henderson faced challenges, scoring 5 and 8 points respectively, with Henderson additionally committing 6 turnovers. The Trail Blazers face ongoing challenges with Sheedon Sharp ruled out and Deander Eiden listed as questionable. Conversely, the Suns enter the matchup with a full squad indicating a return to full strength. The triumphant trio of Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal has exhibited impressive synergy in recent weeks. With the Sun star power in full force, they are poised to dominate the struggling Trail Blazers. Portland's season-long struggles, compounded by injuries, have forced them to rely on a deeper roster. Furthermore, the Trail Blazers' record of 6-7 against the spread as double-digit underdogs raises questions about their ability to cover. The Trail Blazers' recent setbacks have been particularly significant, with each of their last six defeats coming by 21 or more points. In contrast, the Suns' formidable trio is expected to exploit the Trail Blazers' declining defense, evident in their recent struggles. Portland has allowed 126 or more points in five of their last eight games at any location. The Trail Blazers' struggles extend to their against-the-spread performance, with a 1-6 record over their last seven games overall and a 0-5 record in their past five matchups against conference rivals. The Suns, on the other hand, have emerged as a team on the rise especially with the reintegration of their star players. In contrast, the Trail Blazers' recent loss to the Timberwolves underscores their challenges, making the line appear somewhat steep. However, the Suns' impressive performance in a significant win over the Lakers adds weight to the expectation that they will handle the Trail Blazers comfortably in this matchup. Expressing reluctance towards laying double-digit chalk in NBA games, particularly on the road, the sentiment is amplified when considering the Portland Trail Blazers' struggles. Their string of losses and inability to cover substantial spreads emphasizes their current status as one of the more challenging teams in the league. With the Phoenix Suns enjoying optimal health and form, the expectation is for them to secure a comfortable victory in this encounter. Considering the Trail Blazers' recent struggles and injury concerns, the Fonksy Suns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The Trail Blazers' offensive woes are evident in their failure to reach the 100-point mark in three consecutive games. Their pace, ranking 18th in the league at 98.7 possessions per 48 minutes, contrasts with the Suns' slower pace, ranking 27th at 97.6 possessions per 48 minutes. This discrepancy in pace sets the stage for a game with limited possessions. Highlighting a trend, the under has prevailed in five out of the last seven encounters between the Suns and Trail Blazers. In their recent meeting, two Two weeks ago, the Suns secured a 109-88 victory as 9.5-point home favorites, with the total points falling below 230. This consistent trend suggests a likelihood of a lower-scoring affair in this matchup.
Anticipating minimal possessions in this game, the Suns and Trail Blazers, both ranking lower in pace of play, are unlikely to secure many second opportunities. Portland ranks 20th, and Phoenix ranks 18th in pace of play. The under has been successful in 9 out of 16 games when the Suns have played on the road this season, further supporting the expectation of a lower scoring game. Considering these factors, our full game total pick leans towards under the projected total, anticipating a game with limited scoring opportunities. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.